feel so good. Welcome back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest is a Grammy Award-winning artist you know from her songs, The Bones, My Church, and The Middle. She now has a children's book called Addie Ant Goes on an Adventure. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Marin Morris. <laughs> It's a lovely dress. I, I rarely have guests who have a train behind yeah, them. Yeah, that's very, I'd risk it tonight. That's very nice. I felt like I should have two small children behind you carrying <laughs> it to came out. Or ants uh, or birds. Oh, you know, sure. Okay, we'll we yeah. definitely get to yeah. the book. Addie Ant goes on an adventure. Oh, she's um, out. You've performed on this show three times. This is the first time we're sitting down to talk. Yeah. Do you like the talking? Because some musicians that I've interviewed over the years basically say, I really just like the songs to do the talking. I don't want to talk myself. But I love talking to musicians. Oh, good. I love talking to you. I, I mean, we've met plenty of times, but I feel like this is nice. Right. I, I mean, Mostly, I, like... I just go over there and say, hey, have a good show. I know. It's a quick one. But this yeah. is nice to sort of tuck in. It is. Yeah. What is it you want to know about me? Um, My life's an open book, Marin Morris. I know. I've been following your career for a long time. Oh, really? I That's love nice. the Colbert show. Oh, thanks for that. I, I always like wonder if that character slips out when you do this one. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I saw a, a glimmer earlier, sometimes actually. Sometimes when the politicians are on, I want to bring him out. I know. He'll jump on my shoulder and I'll go, is it, like that. is it like armor when they come on? Like that character wants to come back and just protect you from. <laughs> no, it's a dagger. DC. <laughs> yeah. It's not armor. I it's love... not defense. I promise you. I love. I love it. No, I. You, we're both from the south. I'm from South Carolina. You're from. You're from even deeper. You're from Texas. Yeah. Now. Yes. Do you miss it? Do you still live down there? No, my family does. Um, I do miss it. I've lived in Nashville for 11 years now. Oh, so that's that still is, south. That's still south. That's south, but um, they have not figured out Tex-Mex food. Like they, yeah. In that's, Tennessee, they in have Tennessee. not figured that there, no? Well, yeah, Texas has figured it out. Sure. <laughs> but, um, exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Um, they got that Chipotle there, don't they? Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, they're getting a robot to cut those avocados oh. for them now. It's all gonna be fine. I mean, yep. yeah, I love Chipotle though. Like, let's not shade Chipotle. Um, mm. <laughs> but mm. no, I, I, I mean, Nashville is amazing. I don't know if you've been, but incredible music yeah. culture, food culture yeah. as well. But yeah, Tex Mex, they haven't nailed yet. So maybe that's what my next thing should be. Not your that own, I know your anything own about restaurant? it. Yeah, maybe. Like proper Tex Mex food in Nashville? Well, yeah, I've always wanted to open a bar in Nashville called like My Church, and it would oh, be sure. in an old church, yeah. maybe a Catholic one. Sure. Yeah. And if you run out, if you run out of wine, just get out some water. Okay. I love. We can break bread. Sure. Um, you go up and like take communion. Is that what it's sure. called? Sure. You're yep. gonna get me in trouble with my priest this Sunday, but you just Sorry. keep on going. Okay. That's all right. I'm in trouble enough I by won't myself. I'm sacrilegious. Yep. Do you do you do you miss any of the sort of the southern hospitality you grew up with? Like any traditions that you try to keep up yourself? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, we've talked about food, but um, my mom's, like, really good at deviled eggs um, and loves rosé, just nope. like me. Um, she, she loves rosé? Yeah, I she mean, yeah. She drinks a mean glass of rosé? <laughs> she makes a mean glass of rosé. But also, like, I do miss the sort of, like, southern neurotic mom of, like, furiously, anxiously cleaning before company comes over and making, the, like, everyone sure. get in on it. Sure. I, I've carried that on myself, that tradition. So. It's important that when someone comes over, that the, the first thing that you lay out for any food is anxiety. You, yeah. <laughs> Have mm -hmm. a complete mental collapse, mm -hmm. and then you're ready to see people. Everything has yeah. to be perfect. Yeah. Because what if they talk about you when they leave? They definitely will. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been performing since you were 10. Yeah. I imagine you have played in a million different venues. Is there one that stands out, out to you? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a few weirdo ones. Like, I remember some chili cook-offs, did a lot of those in Texas, um, and mm -hmm. then... Is it hard to get people's attention at a chili cook-off? <laughs> because, you know... Yes, yeah, because they're eating chili. They're eating chili. Like, and that's... And the, you know... That's the main course. It's exactly. It's not the, like, girl singing yes. karaoke on a bale yes. of hay. Um, but no, I, um, I think the weirdest gig I did in high school, it was like every Saturday, I did it for like a hundred bucks a pop. I would sing the national anthem at this amateur wrestling ring night. Wow. 
Yeah. Like guys in luchador masks, like throwing each other around? Well, they, they were all sorts of characters. And I grew up watching like WWF, or sure. d- is it now WWE? I can't remember. Uh, I think it's actually in court at Every- this point. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> God, we're we're like getting into such like crazy territory. Um, I well, my dad like always looked like the Undertaker. Mm-hmm. Um, so like just it he carried... looked, Your dad looked like the Undertaker. Yeah, because he was has he long one of the wrestlers? Hair. No. Oh my God, no. He just naturally looked like the Undertaker. Yeah, but he did get me the gig. Um, so I would sing the Star Spangled Banner, but then you know that takes like ninety seconds. So the rest of the night. I, my friends and I in high school would just watch and cheer on these amateur wrestlers. And they all had a character, like there was a goth one um, named Wally, who, yeah. Wally the goth? Wally the goth. I, I, Mixed messages I think there. about him like every week, oh. even now. Wally, if you're watching, check in. She's worried about you. I was, I was worried about you back then. Um, Still am, but no, I I had the most fun, and it was just like a fun way to like make money and be patriotic. I gotta say, how old are you at this point when you're doing these national anthems? Um, I was probably 15. 15, 100 bucks a pop to sing for 90 seconds is not a bad gig. Oh, hell no. Wow. No, I had the best time, and we got to be backstage, like my girlfriends and I, not that any of them were cute, but like we would get to see the wrestlers like. You know Wally is watching right now. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. You were cute. I liked your eyeliner. Um, <laughs> but no, they would just like work out and get like pumped up before sure. they would go do these like staged fi- fights. <laughs> um, but it were was... you accompanied on the national anthem or were you a cappella? A cappella. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Could, could I? Jam I had to. Up? I had to walk out onto the sta- onto the ring. Could I sing the national anthem with you sometime? Um, sure. Because I know the bass line. I don't know the melody. I think you and I could rock it. I'm okay, sorry. let's try. Let's, let's try. try. Okay. So we start low. That's always the that's the the rule. Is because if you start too high and you're like, oh, say, then you forget. You got to go real high at the end. Do you want to give me a, what's your on note? rockets what's your red glare? What's your note? I always go like, oh, say, can, can you see by the, the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming here it goes and the rocket's red glare Was still there, bum 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 bum. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Take that. I want to sing that. Where I want did to that sing come that. From? I want to sing that with you at an amateur wrestling match. <laughs> For a hundred bucks. We'll split 50-50. 50 Let's bucks do a it. piece. That sounds good. It's always good to have a fallback. This job could go away tomorrow. Uh, that's true. <laughs> we have to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Marin Morris, everybody. Stick around. Yeah. 